I'm Yasmin, and I wrote the song Between Two Thieves. I wrote it because I started thinking about the the symbolism in Jesus on the cross. The symbolism is endless. The songs can address but so much, so when I visualize Jesus on the cross, I see myself behind his arms, stretched open wide. And his arms stretched open wide symbolizes protection for me. It's almost as if he's saying, get behind me, put me first. I got you and I'll protect you. When I started reading about the nails in his hands and what they meant when they nailed him, when the Romans nailed him in the hands, they meant to hold him up on the cross. But it left a hole in each one of his hands, and hands are representative of creation. So for me, that opened more room for more creation. My mother used to pray that God hold us in the hollow of thine own hands, and now that makes sense to me. When they put the nails in his feet, what they meant for bad, and what they meant, they meant it to keep him from falling to the ground, but Now it instructs us to fall on the ground, so to speak, in humility and in repentance. When they pierced him in his side and then water and blood was released, the blood represented flesh. So we can now share in his DNA and the water represented the spirit, unleashing his eternal spirit with us. When they put the crowns on his head, the crown of thorns, it was meant to humiliate him, to tell him, you aren't a king. This actually made him taste death. So it made him, allowed him to conquer death. He became the conquering king. Now his story is acknowledged over all the earth. Why? Why so much trouble? To this day, the God love legacy still reigns, and it reigns supreme. Without it, nations will collapse. And another thing I loved about reading about the crucifixion is how Jesus turned things around. And because that story was meant for so much evil, but look at all the good that came out of it. So ever since then, God has been specializing and turning things around. Things were meant for your bad. Things that were not meant for your good. He can turn it around. He can give you hope. He can give you encouragement. He can give you humility and repentance. And there's room for you to come and learn this. And learn to live a, a better life, an abundant life, a life more fulfilled. If you put him first... Learn what he taught us to do. Learn how to love. You will believe. A lot of people say they don't believe in God. Do you believe in love? Because that's what he is. If you believe in love, I'm sorry. You believe in God.